Hi everybody, it's Blakely from The Griffin. I can hardly believe that this school year is almost over. And because it's almost over, that means that it's time for our final mini series of videos. In these last few videos, we're going to give you a lot of activities and exercises that you can try out at home that will get you ready to play the violin, the viola, or the cello. Now, we hope that over the course of this year, we've sparked an interest in you um, in learning an instrument or just in music in general. So we think that these activities will be fun for everyone, uh, but especially those of you who are interested in starting to play a stringed instrument. Today will be all about coordination. I think of coordination as the ability to do multiple things at once with ease. So that's something that we'll practice today. The first thing that we want to do is, I call these finger taps. And this is important for playing the violin, the viola, and the cello. So first thing, I want you to take your left hand and you can give me a wave with your left hand too. Great. So with our left hand, we're going to make a okay sign. And we're going to tap our index finger against our thumb. So let's try just a few of these. And let's see if we can get a louder sound all the while keeping this nice round thumb and nice round index finger. Let's try this one 10 times. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we'll switch to our middle finger and we still have this nice round shape above and below. We'll do 10 here. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we'll go to our ring finger or finger number three. Still round on top and bottom. We'll do 10. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's finish off with pinky. We'll do ten here. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the goal with finger taps is to have this nice round hand shape and also get a strong sound. This is how we build muscles in our hand that help us play a string instrument later on. The second exercise that I want to take you through is one that maybe you've tried before. Um, and we'll put a little twist on it. So this one is pat your head, rub your belly. <laughs> so let's start with just one of those activities. Let's just start with patting our head. Okay, great. And then with the other hand, let's see how a belly rub would go. Great. And now we're going to combine these two. We'll pat our head and rub our belly. We can go slow at first and then maybe speed up slightly. All right, so here comes the big twist. We're gonna switch hands. So this one rubs and this one pats. And we'll do this one more time. We'll switch again. Go. And we'll switch one more time. Right now. Ready, go. Oh, this is difficult. <laughs> I have to think really hard about this. Okay, great. So this is one way we can practice coordination. And this last exercise is my favorite of all. Um, my colleagues in the Griffin String Quartet tell me that this one's really tricky, um, but it's something that I've practiced before. So I wanna show you how to do this one. So uh, this is going to be pointing and thumbs up. So first let's practice thumbs up with both hands. And now let's practice pointing with both hands. Okay, great. This is what we're gonna be using. So we start with, um, maybe let's do just one hand. It can be either hand you want. And we'll start with a thumbs up and we'll switch to a point. And we're just gonna alternate. You can follow me. Okay, let's try the same thing with the other hand. We'll start with a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Point. Thumbs up. Point. And now you've probably guessed what we're gonna do here. We're going to combine these two and do them at the same time, alternating. So it doesn't matter which hand you choose for the thumbs up, I'm gonna choose my left hand. So that means my right hand will be pointing and we're gonna go one, two, three, switch. All right, let's try that one more time. One, two, three, switch. We'll do this two more times. One, two, three, switch. One, two, 
three, switch. All right, let's see if we can uh, increase the speed and we'll just kind of keep going regularly. So let's do, how about this speed? We'll go start, switch, switch, switch. Join me, switch, 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 switch. A few more. Okay, great. Now I think we can take this to a faster tempo or a faster speed. Maybe we can go switch, 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 switch. Can we start there? So get your hands set up. One, two, ready, go. Whoa, I really had to think about that one. That was a really great exercise. And I wonder if we could try one more just for fun where we go even faster. Maybe this one would be switch, 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 switch. So get our hands up. One, two, ready, go. Oh, <laughs> I goofed it at the end, but that's okay. This is a really, really hard challenge. So I hope that you had fun trying out all three of these. And these are three things that help you not only play string instruments better, but they just improve your coordination, which is something that is useful in everyday life. So we hope to see you soon and we'll uh, be exploring some other activities and exercises that you can do at home. And in the meantime, happy coordination practicing. Bye-bye. <laughs> The Griffin String Quartet is in residence with Midsummer's Music in Door County, Wisconsin. For more information about our upcoming events, visit midsummersmusic.com.